Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are uh, doing another reading for you guys. This reading is going to be specifically for us to look into, to see who is looking at you. Whether it's on social media, whether they're going to get their cards read, uh, trying to get information about you or seeing what's going on with your life. Let's delve deep into this and see exactly who is trying to look into you and what you're doing and what type of connection is this and the energy that they're coming um, around you with or the energy that they carry themselves, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can pick a card. We're going to start off with set number one, which is the skull, set number two, the dice, set number three, the heart, and set number four, the amethyst stone. So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can tune into your energies and see which one calls to you the most and we'll move forward. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys uh, chose the cards you're going to go with. And let's move forward. I'm going to pull back these cards and we're going to dive uh, deep into set number one. And we'll move from there. All righty. So we're going to start off with set number one, which is the skull. We're going to see exactly what's going on. So... You are carrying the energy of the Prince of Pentacles. They are carrying the energy of the Three of Swords. The Relationship or Connection, Three of Cups. The Advice card, Prince of Wands. And the Likely Outcome, Five of Wands. Okay. So, those of you guys that chose set number one, I can tell you, I feel that for some of you guys, the majority that chose this set, you could be dealing with a person that is from your past. Um, I see you guys really going through a journey, a very long journey, a very difficult uh, type of connection. This could have been an ex. This could have been a relationship. This could have been a person that you dealt with in matters of the heart. Um, and again, like I said, you put a lot of effort into this connection or a lot of self-sacrifice. Uh, with the Three of Swords, that's the energy that they're vibrating from. So it's, it is a bit uh, painful type of energy. This is the type of energy of it could have been you or it could have been them, the one that stepped out of the connection or relationship. They are still caring. Um, it's almost like not realizing what they had until they lost the type of energy. Um, and it's a, a very hurtful uh, type of energy, but I feel that it's coming from a very like strong pride. It could have been a person that was very egocentric. It could have been from a person that created this heartbreak um, or that could have hurt you, could have been double dealing or dealing with other people. Uh, the moment you decided to pull your energy or the moment you decided to know what your worth was and walked away from this connection or pulled away, um, that's where the, the heartbreak and the uh, regret started to unfold uh, before them. Um, the type of connection or relationship this was is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups does indicate to me a connection, a romantic connection, where someone in this connection stepped out of the relationship. It also speaks about it starting off as friends. So it could have been a person that um, you dealt with where perhaps you seen them as your best friend or uh, a very beautiful relationship you thought at some point you trusted and confided in this person. For others of you, this could just be a person that was in your surroundings. Um, this could have been a friend, someone that you trusted, that you confided in. Um, and it also speaks about uh, some type of heartbreak or some type of betrayal. I feel very heavily with the Three of Swords that there's a lot of regret. So I feel that this person is someone that potentially hurt you. Um, purposely someone that perhaps um you know took for granted the trust or love that you had for them now the advice here is again with the prince of wands what they're asking you there is a need for you to continue focusing on yourself and making yourself a priority my lovelies um this is speaking about being more spontaneous and opening your heart 
and uh, yourself basically to new adventures, to new endeavors. Um, should you continue dealing with this person or should this person reach out, which most likely they will be reaching out to you. Um, of course, this is them looking into you. So again, it could be them looking or watching at your social medias, um, what you're doing, what your life, you know, how your life is going, etc. But they are telling you that there is a probability of them reaching out or trying to reach out. And with the five of wands, this is the likely outcome. So there is, um, I, I feel that should you open the door to this uh, person or give them another opportunity to get closer to you, I feel that there is going to be a feeling of uh, being let down. Um, it also speaks about the kind of um, the energy of confrontation, which usually indicates in relationships when a person has hurt us or stepped out of the relationship, that's something that you have not healed or haven't healed from as of yet. So if you should try to give another opportunity, um, the five of wands energy will unfold, which is that of competitive or combative energy, confrontation or throwing in each other's faces, the wrongdoings that have been done in the past. Now, this person's energy is expect powerful change, new moon uh, eclipse. And this is the energy that they're wanting to um, basically align themselves to or to vibrate from and expect powerful change. I feel that they are going through some type of change. Um, and again, the three of swords speaks to me about regret. So I feel that if they didn't um, realize or if they didn't understand fully the type of hurt or even, you know, accept what they did, I feel that that's going to be unfolding because they are going through this uh, much needed um, change that is unfolding in their lives right now, where perhaps they are realizing that you were a blessing to them. And that's why the three of swords is here, um, vibrating from the energy that they are carrying at the present time. So even if this person did um, let you down or hurt you or betrayed you in some way, it also speaks about them coming to that realization of what they did. What they did. Um, however, um, doesn't necessarily mean that you can be able to rekindle or try to rebuild on this energy because the likely outcome is the five of wands. So someone will still be holding on to that hurt. Um, and that's going to greatly impact should you continue to put effort in this connection. Now, what they're telling you to embrace here is the door to personal healing and happiness, which is exactly the energy I was sensing uh, with this powerful change. I feel that both of you guys, uh, there is much needed healing, and I feel that this has more to do with you, those of you guys that chose set number one. There's a need to really fully heal yourself and make yourself a priority, um, making yourself not only a priority, but learning to put yourself first. This is something that is greatly needed at this present time for you. So more than likely, your ex is the one that's looking into what you're doing. Um, or it could be a person, a friend, someone that you trusted where there was some type of falling out. Um, and I do see them trying to reach out, trying to open communications with you. All right, my lovelies, we're going to go to set number two now. I hope this gives you some type of insight. All right, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number two with the dice, let's get into it. Let's see who is looking at you or spying on you. Now, the energy that you are vibrating from at the present time is the king of wands. This could be, um, you could be a fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. However, um, you don't have, that doesn't have to be your sun sign. It could be very heavily on your chart. Um, the person that is watching or looking into you is the ace of cups. Um, so they're coming from a loving place. Uh, this could be a love interest. This could be a person that is interested in you or someone that has recently sparked your interest. Um, so let's get to it. The relationship or connection is the Hierophant. Okay. And the advice, the sun. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Likely outcome. All right. So the, for those of you guys that show set number two, 
I feel that the one that's been spying or looking into you um, very strongly could be either the person that you're currently dating. Uh, this could be your love interest. This could be a person that recently sparked your interest. I do see very strongly here that you definitely know who this person is. And it is someone uh, on a romantic level. I do see them looking at you and seeing all the beauty that you possess. With the Ace of Cups, you are basically what they've been hoping for, or what they've been praying for. Um, and they're looking at you not in a negative way, but in a very loving way, in a way of understanding or knowing that you are who they want. There's no doubt about that. The connection itself is the Hierophant. So this may speak about a higher elevation of commitment. Um, if you guys are just casually dating, it will become official um, in the unfolding weeks. For those of you guys that, you know, have been talking or just communicating, I definitely do see them stepping up and trying to uh, strengthen this connection, uh, strengthen this union, and they definitely have commitment on their mind. It's almost as if they've already made up their mind and they know exactly that it's you, the one they want to be with. With the Sun card here as a representation of the advice, what they're telling you is, Enjoy the moment. Be present in everything that you're doing at this present time. It is crucial and important to be, you know, enjoying and being present in the moment as it gives us a greater insight to being more appreciative and being more thankful of the blessings that we have or that are around us. The sun can also represent a lot of unfolding uh, blessings that are coming your way. And I feel that this union has been blessed or this connection has been blessed if you guys chose set number two and you're currently single, that's not going to be very uh, for very long. I do see a month time spam where a person will be coming in, and this person is definitely going to come in strong. They're definitely going to proactively pursue you. There's not going to be no guessing or wondering what it is that they want or what you mean to them because they're going to go above and beyond to show you with actions that you're the one that they want. Um, very assertive type of energy here. The likely outcome here is the Queen of Swords. So I do feel that as uh, the connection progresses, there may be certain uh, type of energies that you're going to have to be able to learn uh, to release. And some of it is doubt. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be almost a feeling of like, this is too perfect or things are unfolding uh, too positive. I'm starting to think or I'm starting to wonder, is this even real? Um, all of this is, you know, internally what you are overthinking or overanalyzing. What they're telling you is give in to these blessings that are unfolding before you. Uh, try the best you can not to be so guarded. Bring your sword down. Not everyone is out to hurt you or out to get you. All right. And the energies that they are coming in with or want to move into is confidence is your key to success. So I feel that this person may be extremely confident. This could be a person that uh, for some people, they may actually come off as a bit cocky, but I feel that it's not in a negative or shadow way. I feel that this is a person that genuinely is very confident in themselves. You may be dealing with a Leo um, or a Sagittarius or an Aries person. Um, you're coming up very strongly here with fire energy as well. Um, but I feel that for some of you guys, this is a fire energy that you're going to be dealing. For others of you, it may be a Taurus. I do see water here as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or water energy. Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra type of energy. And the card that's coming out for you is First Chakra, Archangel Michael. So this is the root chakra. This is to do with the mundane. This is to do with um, fears. Fears that we need to overcome in regards to past relationships or past connections which i feel strongly may become uh, a bit of a challenge in this progressive um, relationship or connection i feel that you may question certain things um, only because you're over analyzing uh, there is a need if possible uh, to try to work on your root chakra so that you can be able to unblock that energy so that it can flow organically but overall very beautiful reading my lovelies all right, let's go to set number three. 
right, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number three, the heart, let's get into it. Your card or the card that represents you at the present time is temperance card here. Uh, the card that's representing them is the hermit, the connection or relationship, the judgment, the advice here, ace of pentacles and the likely outcome, eight of cups. Okay, off the bat, what I'm hearing is for those of you guys that chose set number three, there is a rekindling of a connection. There is a working or rebuilding of some type of relationship that could have weathered or could have come to some type of distancing with each other. Now, you're coming up as temperance. For some of you guys, you may be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius placement, or you may be dealing with a Sagittarian. Um, the temperance is a representation of patience, but it also speaks about healing. I feel that for a lot of you guys that chose this set, um, there could have been a very challenging or very difficult connection or relationship that uh, was very tumultuous for a lot of you guys. With the temperance card, there is, when temperance shows up, there is a need uh, to, uh, sorry, reevaluate the connection or reevaluate where it is that we're at at this point in our lives. Temperance is all about being patient. It's about timing. It's about trusting in destiny and the things that are unfolding before us. But it can also speak about taking some time um, to work on ourselves, to bring it back about, to bring it back to making it about ourselves and make, making sure that we're taking care of ourselves. I don't know why I keep stuttering. Um, it's almost a feeling of like overwhelmingness and not being able to fully express what I want to express. So for some of you guys, it could be a connection that is very strong, very powerful. Um, it's almost like you felt it in your bones that this was uh, beyond something, you know, casual or something that was of coincidence. I feel that for a lot of you guys that chose set number three, you could be dealing with the person that had a lot to do or made you feel um, like they raised your spiritual vibration or you became more spiritual when this person came into your life or you could have taught this person to be more spiritual. Um, so the person that's definitely looking into you or looking at what you're doing right now is a person that is at a distance right now. With the Hermit card could represent a Virgo energy, but it can also represent a person that pulled away or took some time to solely focus on themselves and to try to figure out what it is that they want. If you can see here Temperance and the Hermit, the Hermit's going towards Temperance. So they are coming back around, they are reaching back, um, or they're being guided towards your direction again, because there are things that are left unsaid or undone. Um, you guys are definitely not done uh, with this connection as of yet. Now we have the judgment card, and that's the relationship dynamic. So the judgment does represent um, revisiting the past. It also speaks about talking or communicating or realizing hey we're not done we still have certain things that were left undone we need to come back together or communicate or reach out or life is going to bring you guys back together where there's going to be a need for dialogue there's a need for um making an active decision of coming back together um to try to work or try to rebuild something here um with the ace of pentacles i feel that if in the past this connection or relationship was very tumultuous, there was really inconsistent um, type of energy, not a lot of consistency in this connection. I feel that this time around, it is a green light. They're telling you that uh, this does have a, a promise for future and something more stable with the Ace of Pentacles, being able to build on a solid foundation, being able to fully commit to one another and have the same idea the same ideals, the same desires, um, being on the same page is what I'm hearing. And the Eight of Cups is the likely outcome. So the Eight of Cups with a judgment, going back to the past to be able to rebuild on something that is solid. So again, I feel those of you guys that chose set number three, there is definitely a rekindling, a reconnection, um, a coming back and getting it right or giving each other another opportunity um, that is going to be built on a solid foundation, that is going to be built on honesty and transparency on both sides. Uh, so beautiful energy. Now, the energy that they're coming with or the energy that they want to 
uh, commit to is take time to breathe out. Um, take time to breathe out is almost a, uh, again, I feel that for a lot of you guys that chose the set, there was a need for pulling away from each other to be able to refocus, to be able to gain clarity, to figure out exactly what it is that you both wanted on your own to be able to come back together and be on the same page. Now, the energy that you have here is carrying connection. So I definitely do see a rekindling, a reconnection, someone from the past um, that was a very strong and powerful connection. You guys are not done. Universe will be bringing you guys back together. And this is definitely, and for some of you guys, because I'm hearing uh, that this is a very strong connection, you may already be feeling like someone's watching you, like someone's looking at your social medias, like someone's looking at what you're doing. It's definitely this person. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. Now let's go to our last set, set number four. All right, my lovelies, here we are. Finally, set number four. Let's get into it. The energy that you're coming with is the seven of pentacles. The energy that they're coming with is the four of cups, the relationship or connection, seven of swords, the advice based on the situation, seven of wands, and the likely outcome, two of pentacles. All right. So I definitely see someone spying and looking into you or what you're doing or what you're up to. This could be through social media, through friends, uh, through people that um, through people that they know that know you. Now, I do have here the seven of pentacles. So there is a desire within you to want to go back to the past or reconnect with someone from the past. And I feel that they're definitely speaking about that person here. However, they're coming with the four of cups. I feel that if there was some type of breakup, some type of separation, some type of pulling away, it could have been because they thought they had better options or they thought they had more options. Um, and that could have been the reason for the pulling away. For some of you guys, they could have ghosted you. Um, they could have kind of fell off the map and all of a sudden you're starting to see that they're looking at your stories, that type of energy. With the Four of Cups though, this is definitely a person that is looking at what you're doing because they're bored or because they feel that if they reach out, you may still entertain that energy or you may still entertain them. With the Seven of Swords, this was the connection uh, or the relationship between you. And Seven of Swords, it always indicates um, something that starts off wrong usually ends wrong. So it could have been a situation where someone was in a committed relationship. Um, it could have been you or it could have been them. They weren't honest about the situation. Uh, the moment things started to get heavy for you or for them, there was a distancing, a pulling away. Seven of Swords also indicates a person that tries to portray themselves as extremely honest. This is the type of energy where they tell you, I'm extremely honest. I'm not like the rest. Um, why would I lie to you? Um, that type of energy is the Seven of Swords next to the Four of Cups. So I feel that they could have been very deceitful in regards to um, what they told you they were expecting or wanting from this connection. It's almost like they could have promised you that they were looking for something long term when it turns out that they were looking for something temporary or purely physical. Um, now, what they're telling you here with the advice is the seven of wands. Stand your ground. Don't give don't give in um, if they reach out or communicate, which they will uh, with seven of pentacles here and seven of wands. It's almost like they're coming back trying to see if they can, you know, uh, entertain you again or, or, you know, feed you a bunch of bullshit and see if you're going to take it, basically. And what they're telling you is you have two sevens. This is a spiritual number. Um, this is talking about tapping into your higher self, knowing exactly in the gut, knowing exactly your intuition, what it's telling you. They're telling you, listen to that. This person is not a right. This person is not the right one for you. Um, try the best you can to, when they do reach out, um, try the best you can not to romanticize the connection or the relationship or think, you know, it's spirit or it's the universe uh, giving us another opportunity. I feel that this person is reaching out or communi uh, communicating with you only because 
um, they're pretty bored at this present time. Uh, this could have been a situation where they thought the grass was greener on the other side and they quickly realized, well, it's not that easy or it's not as great as I thought it would be. Let me see if, um, let me see if they will be open to communicating or if they're still upset. What I'm hearing is um, I'm wanting to reach out, but I don't know if they're going to respond. I'm just going to shoot them this message. So it could be even a message of like, what's up or how you been? Uh, a message that doesn't really carry a lot of information. It's almost like they're kind of throwing just the bait to see if you'll take it. And what Spirit is telling you here with the Seven of Wands is if you want to move forward in a positive way and move forward towards the path you're supposed to be walking, do not entertain this person because the likely outcome is the Two of Pentacles. They're going to end up leaving you feeling like you're not in control of the situation, feeling confused, feeling like you don't know what the hell happened again. With the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups, I feel that this person has a tendency of coming into your life and then all of a sudden they go out of your life and they go MIA. You have no idea what's going on in their life and then they'll randomly pop up again and message you. So what they're telling you here with the Two of Pentacles is don't allow other people outside of yourself um, to push you in a direction where you feel lost or where you feel like you have to question your worthiness or question why can this person stay. It has nothing to do with you and it has more to do with their self-growth that they're refusing to learn from. So the energy that is their energy at the present time is meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. We just experienced a full moon in Pisces. I feel that this person is reaching out because you may cross their mind and they may feel a bit emotional or a bit like they're bored. Um, hey, I just thought of, you know, set number four. Let me reach out and see if they are willing to respond, if they're still interested, if I can still pull on their heartstrings. Um, and again, it could be because they're feeling emotional or they're feeling lonely. The energy that you're coming uh, with is the sun. So the sun card is blessings. It's confidence. It's knowing what you deserve and not settling for anything less. It's embracing your power. It's knowing your worthiness, knowing that you deserve so much better. And the sun also is a beautiful omen when we're talking about relationships or partnerships because it is foretelling a relationship that is coming or that you may already be in when this person from your past tries to reach out or tries to communicate or contact you. For some of you guys, I'm getting you are in a relationship and a person that in the past perhaps uh, did you dirty or completely ghosted you will be coming back around and the reason why they're reaching out is because they've been looking at you and they see that you're happily in a relationship so again be mindful of that uh, for those of you guys that are in a relationship the only reason why they're reaching out could be because you're posting you're you're putting your partner in your instagram and in your snapchat whatever it is and they're looking at you and they're seeing the beauty that you're radiating and they're wanting to um, be able if they can still reel you in. So again, do not feed their ego, my lovelies, okay? I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and we'll see each other soon. Bye.